computer. Good morning, my students, and welcome. Uh, I can see I've got quite a few students on the call. Let's see if I can uh, help you with assessment uh, 01. So uh, I, I'm just checking out here. Do I have anybody from uh, outside of Durban? Because that's where I am. And anybody would like to unmute and say, hello, how are you? Hello? Ah, uh, come on. Hello, anybody out Hello. there? Hello. Who Hello. Who am I speaking to? Hello. It's Junior. I'm from Gauteng. Hello, Junior from Gauteng. Welcome, welcome. Which part of Gauteng? Joburg. Joburg. Eastern. Eastern. Welcome, Joburg in the house. Uh, Junior, do you have any uh, problems with assessment one? Nah, not, not quietly, but... You can continue, we'll see. Okay, great, great. Thank you, thank you. Uh, have you uh, uh, submitted assessment one, Junior? Yes, I have, I have. Great, great, great. Uh, I think Vincent is on this call. Vincent, are you here, Vincent? I'm still here. Hello, Vincent, how are you? I'm okay, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Where are you, where are you calling us from, Vincent? Uh, I'm calling from Free State. Free State, Free State is in the house. We got Joburg, we got Free State. And uh, I, I don't know, is there anybody else that would like to say hello, how are you? No, okay, fine. Right, let's see. Vincent, you have a question for me. What's your question, Vincent? Um, My question is question number 29. Mm, it just um, so happens that I have question number 29 open, okay? Right? Yes. Okay, what's, what's the problem yes, with question so 29, Vincent? So the output there is looping zeros. That's your output. It just keeps on repeating zero. Mm. So now um, the question is, is the answer zero or it's unable to determine? Okay. Now, now, Vincent, I don't give you answers, right? That's something that I don't like yeah. to share with students. I want you to struggle and work and get the answer by yourself. But what I can do yeah. is I can help you with a strategy in order to answer this question. Okay. So yes. Vincent, if I'm looking at this question, I say, hey, listen, I want to see what is the output of the following code. And I have a tool that will help me, Vincent. And the tool that I'm going to help use to help me is called code blocks. Now, Vincent, my question yes. to you is, have you loaded or installed code blocks on your computer? I have. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Well done. So now, Vincent, let me start my code blocks. C-O-D-E code blocks. I'm starting my code blocks. And I'm going to see if our code blocks can help me to work out what it is, right? Okay. So here's my code blocks and, and it's assignment one, question number 29. So let me just create a new project and maybe I'll call it Vincent, Vincent, right? In, in honor of Vincent's query. Vincent, V-I-N-C-E-N-T, Vincent, assessment 01, Q29, right? And for the other people, you can leave out the word Vincent, right? Ah, okay, there we go, Vincent. Yep. So now, Vincent, you must remember time is uh, precious to me, right? Because I've got other modules to study. I've got, I've got about 700 students to, to worry about. Plus, I've got family and all of that. So this is a tool that will help me to determine the output of a code. Okay, Vincent? And also, because it time is of the essence, I, I, I need to type very fast. So I'm going to type quite fast here, Vincent. Watch this, watch how quickly I'm going to type Vincent. I'm going to copy that, open that out. And I'm going to paste that here. Vincent, am I a fast typist or what, Vincent? Yeah, you are. You are not, hey. not so bad. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't need that C out here. Right? I just pasted it, Vincent. You can be just as fast as me. Okay, yeah. so Vincent, I've got the program. I've, I've cut, well, you, you could have said I typed it out, right? I typed it exactly as ma'am would have typed it. And I'm gonna see what's out there. Now, I'm not gonna give you any answers. I don't give you answers. The computer gives you answers, right? The computer, goes, the compiler is gonna see what it is. And in fact, this is yes. how you can answer all the questions, Vincent. So let me go and build this thing. There we go on the top, it says build. Uh, yeah, I'm happy, no errors. Let me just go see the log file at the bottom over there. Let's see what the log file says. Uh, error, X does not name a type. 
int x equals zero. No, what's wrong there? Okay, I don't have that. I don't have a, uh, yeah. All right, let's go and come. Thank you, Vincent. I'm sorry, you should have given me the answer. Let's build it. Uh, what's the error out there, Vincent? It says token. Semicolon. After semicolon. inline. After inline. Yeah, All right, thank you, Vincent. Now, did, did ma'am include that semicolon in her question paper? Uh, yes, no, no, that's did. on question number no, 24. No, no. Um, 29. Yes, yes, she did. She did. I didn't copy that. Okay, Vincent. Right. So let's go and build it again, Vincent. Uh, error expected end of the line. Yes, you need to delete uh, that uh, bracket there at end oh. of C out X. Oh, yeah. okay. So I need to, I don't need a bracket there. Correct. Right, Vincent. And let's build it. Yay, Vincent, I'm happy there's zero errors. Now, Vincent, you got to watch quickly, right? I'm going to show you. Let's see what happens. I'm not giving you any answers, Vincent. I'm not supposed to. You're the student. You must study. So now let's build it. You, Vincent, something happened there. Oops. Right? Now, Vincent, is this any mm -hmm. of those options out there, right? It's not one of those options. Right? So there's a problem. There's definitely a problem out there with that question. Now, Vincent... I'll be cheating you if I just give you the answer just like that, or you go and look at it like that, right? But let me try and explain to you what ma'am is testing you in this program on the wire. Can I, can I, can I, can I explain yes. it before you do sure. it and see if sure, I'm wrong? Sure. Please, please so, do. No, no, don't say, see if you're wrong. Be positive. Yeah. You're going to say, sir, yes. you're, not, you're not wrong. You're just, you're learning. You're a student. So go ahead and explain it, Vincent. So you can put the you, camera on if you want to, Vincent. No, no, I'm fine with the camera not on. Okay, go on. So if if you write your while statement there mm -hmm. without the bracket, it only executes the first line. Oh, is that so? Okay. So, which which so, first line? So X. Right. Vincent, Vincent, call out line number six, seven, eight, nine, whatever. Number seven. Line number so seven. It will, yes, it will only check number seven. So your X will always be less than five and it will keep on printing zero, X, which is zero. Oh, so so there's something about a bracket you told me. So if I go and put a bracket after that there, right? If I go and put a bracket there. There's my bracket. I open my bracket. And I go and close my bracket. Where should I close my bracket, Vincent? Mm, um, after line number nine. Okay, let's go after line number nine, right? So I close my bracket after line number nine. So you told me a very important point now, Vincent, about the while loop. You told me that if there's no brackets, that means it only executes the line immediately after the while loop. Let me now go and build and run this program, right? Build and run this program. Look at that, zero, one, two, three, four, five. And that's the output that I wouldn't say is expected. And let me try and pull this down too. Let's see, can I squeeze that? Is that Vincent? You must just tell me as soon as you can't see my screen if I or if I stop sharing it or whatever, right? So Vincent, yeah, look at we it. We can still see it. You can see both this is the the output and the right? yes, right. So if you notice that it, with with the curly brackets in line number seven and line number ten, it goes and firstly it runs x is equal to zero. Zero is less than five. Yes, it printed five. Let's see out five. It goes and increments in line number nine by one. So it makes it one. Is one less than five in line number six? It goes and prints one. That's what happened out there. Then it increments it by another one. So it makes it two, three, four, and five. It says five is less than five, correct? Well, five is actually equal to five, right? But it goes and displays mm -hmm. it and it goes to six. Is six less than five? No. Then it comes out, sorry, five is less than five. No, and goes and displays, it comes here. And in line number 11, it displays five. Because remember I told you five is not less than, five is actually equal right. to five, right? So that's the important point about those brackets. Now, Vincent, let me go and take that bracket out there and take that bracket out there and put the bracket in here. Put, the, put a bracket there and put a bracket there. 
So you'll, you'll notice something else will happen, Vincent, now that I've got the bracket in a different, I've got it, I've got it, I've got two C out statements. I've got a C out in line eight and I've got a C out in line 10. Let's go and build and run this program. Build and run this program. Now, the reason I'm telling you, giving you all these options, Vincent, is that this is a definite question in the exam. In the exam, they'll ask you, what is the output of the following snippet of code? And one of them will be the while loop, the for loop, do while loop, all right? Notice 0, mm -hmm. 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5. So it runs uh, two C out statements in line number eight, line number 10. Let's go and take out line number eight as, as a C out statement. All right, let's go and take out line number eight as a C out statement. And I'm just showing you how I can play around with this question. Build and run the question. Oh, look at that, Vincent. Look at that. All right, look at that. Look at what look what it gave me now. All right? It, it displayed yes, one, two, three, four, five. Right? One, two, three, four, five. Did it give me no, I know zero there, right? Yes. Because in line number nine, it incremented it from zero to one, and that's how it displayed it. So when you are studying for the exam, when you're looking at this assignment question, Vincent, you go and make changes to see what other alternatives and options you are. And this is how you will learn programming. Okay? Yes. Right? Because in the exam, they're not going to give you the exact assignment question, but they will chop and change it around. Another way you can uh, play around with this is what happens if I have the word equal to sign, less than and equal to sign out there? Build and run. When is the loop going to run? And how is it going to look? Oh, look at that, Vincent. It went up to six now. You yeah. saw what that equal to sign does, Vincent? Yeah. All right. Let me go and play around again with this. Now I put the, I close the curly bracket, not there, but I close the curly bracket out here. All right. Vincent, I'm putting it back to equal to sign. And I uh, build and run the program. Whoa, look at that, Vincent. Yeah, Vincent? it will only print out when x is equal to 5. Yeah, which is one of the alternatives, if I remember correctly. But, ah, no, 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 no. We're changing the question, so we don't look at that, right? Okay. Vincent, have I, in fact, I should not have said I, I helped you uh, answer the question. I didn't give you the answer to that. But have I uh, given you more in-depth knowledge regarding the while loop and those curly brackets and how important they are? Yes, you have. Ah, thank you. Thank you. So you learned something in the last uh, 15 minutes. Vincent, do you have another question for me or a query regarding assessment one? Um, let me see. I had a couple of questions. Okay, let's check so, question number 44. Let's go to question, let's 44. question number 44. All right, let's see question 44. Question 44 said, given the following code, what is the final value of I? Ah, Vincent. Now they're testing you on the for loop. So again, yes. Vincent, I'm going to use my code blocks, right? And I'm going to ask code blocks to help me now. Let me go and delete whatever I don't need. Right, so I've got that. Let me go and take this program. And I'm using my code blocks to help me, right? I need I need some help. This is a, how what you must do as well. I'm going to copy that, open up my code blocks, I'm going to paste it inside code blocks, edit, paste. Vincent, there we go. Aren't I a fast typist, Vincent? Right. So, Vincent, it says, let's quickly go over what the for loop does, right? The for loop allows you to repeat something over and over and over and over again, right, Vincent? In this yes. case, it's going to run from zero to four. And whatever's inside is going to display it. Now, the question says, uh, what is the final value of I, right? Again, Vincent, I don't answer any questions for you, huh, Vincent. Who's answering it? Yeah, me. Yeah, you and the compiler, huh? right? Let's run, let's build and run this program. Let's build and run this program. And ta-da, look at that, Vincent. Vincent, did you see that? Yes, yes, uh, I see it goes only up to four. Don't give me any answers, Vincent. Vincent. Sorry? Don't 
don't give the answers away. Let them struggle and work on them by themselves. All right? We don't share answers. Yeah. Shh. Okay. Okay, let's 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 run it again quickly, quickly, Vincent. And let's see if anybody see, can see this. Ta-da! How's that? Did you see it? Yes. Oh man, yes, I, I got thought the I was same fast. one, yeah. I thought I was going fast. I mean too fast, right? But y'all can watch the recording. Don't tell anybody you can't pause the recordings, right? Okay. Now, Vincent, again, let me teach you a little bit more about the for loop, right? Remember yes. you talking about the, the, the curly brackets, Vincent? Yeah. If I leave out those curly brackets, Vincent, it's going to run. Look, look how look how it's going to run the program now, right? Build and run. Whoa, check it out, Vincent. You check it out. Let me run it this time with let's put the curly brackets again. This is how you learn programming. This is I'm teaching you strategy. Now you go play around with it, see what it does. Check what it does with these things, right? Let's change this yeah. um, less than or equal to sign. Let's put it down just less than four. Let's let's compile this program and build and run, right? So Vincent, without me get, giving the answer or without running the compiler, what do you think the answer would be? Where I say it must be three. I don't know. Who who would know? Or who me and the find? compiler, maybe. The compiler, yeah. Let's <laughs> run. Let's run it. Let's run it. Check it out, Vincent. Vincent yes, it goes up to three. Right, right. Check it out. Isn't that cool? Right. Now, Vincent, you can also do something else where you change the starting point. Instead of zero, you put the starting point as one. Right. That's the starting. Let's go and build and run this program. Let's build it. Now, build and run. Vincent, watch this. Do you see where it starts from, Vincent? Yes. One, and it goes to three. So this little number in the front here, the first one for i equals one, is the starting point. This is where it ends. If I have an equal to sign in there, it includes it. This is how I increment the number. All right? But now, my problem is the answer that was required by the quiz is different from what the compiler is telling you. Like we spoke, it will only run up to four because there's an equal sign. Yeah, but but I'm so I, now I the, the answer question. that was required from the quizzes. Uh, there's the question yes. here, Vincent. The Vincent, the question is less than or equal to four. Yeah, right. So you have to yeah. do you have to uh, you have to you have to put down. Whoopsie, did I change that? Right, Vincent. So again, I'm I don't give out answers. You see what the compiler does. Quick, 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 to deep. Right, and what's the answers out here? What what answers do they have? Right. Say they say what is the final value of i? The final value of i. Vincent, do you think you'd be able to answer it without me telling you anything? Mm, yes. Right. Good. Can we can we leave this question alone? Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, while I'm there's there's a few other people on the call here. Anybody would like to add to uh, the queries? Otherwise, they'll, they'll say that I'm favoring Vincent and I'm only allowing Vincent to talk. Hey, greetings, Mr. Kavinda. Greetings, greetings. Who am I speaking to? We are speaking to Tsepo. Tsepo! From Stella Tsepo. I hope you don't mind that I was uh, having a favorite student over there, Vincent, right? But he asked me to have a private Teams meeting with him, and I said, no, man, let's all share and be together, right? So go ahead, Tsepo, with your oh. question. Okay. So, Mr. Kavinda, is that uh, I can't even view my question paper here because... Uh, the thing uh, took the whole screen. Okay, but, listen. Um, this is what I'm going to do to help you, right? I'm going to I'm going to share okay. that on your uh, WhatsApp status, right? If if you don't, if you'd like, right? I'll do that for you. So let's. Uh, I'll just add that. Uh, I'll add the. But I can't screen. even open any app here. Where? Because like the Zoom, the Zoom has taken the whole screen, and I can't minimize it. Put it aside okay. and open another. Okay. So what I'm going to yeah. do is I'm open up your cell phone. You got your cell phone with you? Yes, I have my cell phone. Right, with me. right. So I'm going to I'm going to give you assessment one on your cell phone, right? So because of you, okay, everybody's you. going to get it, right? Oh, so thank let's you. Do that. I right, open up your cell phone. I'm the only lecturer that allows you all to keep your cell phones open in class. How's that? Ha. <laughs> Right. So, Vincent, there you go. You've got your assessment one on your WhatsApp status. Now, ask the question. 
Okay, first I would like to, we can commence with a question 45. I want to okay. have a little bit of understanding there because there is another question that I, I really want to ask. Okay, question number 45. I, I think I did this good. last week. Did I do this last week? Were you here with us, Sepo, last week? Yes, I was here, but I think you explained that. Um, I want to understand this end end thing and uh, uh, these two lines in between. What do they mean exactly? Which, which, uh, this, this, uh, in option B. Yes, and in option okay. A, and, and. All right, that and, and is and, or, and this one is a or. These are Boolean operators, Sepo, right? So Boolean this operator. Is Boolean operators. So what you need to do, uh, Vincent, I'm sorry, Sepo, is to open up your study guide, right? So when you see that you don't understand a certain uh, command or uh, something that looks weird, you open up Acrobat Reader. Let me open up Acrobat Reader. Let me open up my... Uh, where's where's my study guide? Open up recent files. Let's open up my study guide. There's my study guide, right? So now you okay. say Control F, and you say uh, deny, right? And let's go with you. You open up and you say and and right. Find in this in this thing and and right is that how it looks right can you see how i'm uh, uh what i did uh, I, I pressed Control f on my keyboard and it went and looked for and 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 it tells me there's eight exact matches so let me go and look in the study guide mm -hmm. oh there we go in the study guide it's on page 115. so now what you got to do is you got to read up what this and and means in page 115. A simple way to make sure that the loop rejects negative values and values above 1,000 is to modify the condition like this. That means while in value is greater than zero and in value is less than 1,000 and one. That's what the and means. Let me go and see where else in the study okay. guide is this and and. It's also, on, it's also found on page... Make this change and test to see. We will see what and and means in the next lesson. Oh, there's another lesson. Let me go back and go to the next one. Oh, there we go. To perform operations on Boolean values, C++ provides three operators, and, or, and not, representing logical and, or, and not respectively. So, Sepo, I would suggest that you go and read lesson 11. What do you think, Sepo? I see that it's good for I to attend it. I know yeah. to read on. Yeah, on yeah, 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 yeah. Not only do, not only read, but you answer the questions. Programming is very practical. You have to, have yes. to, you have to, have to do it, right? And one way of doing it and checking what it does is, like the method I showed you now, simple. You just copy and paste it, right? You copy and paste it. Yes. All right. So simple. There's there's a question. There's a there's a, checking for valid input. And I'm going to, uh, you know, I have to copy and paste Sepo because, you know, time is of the essence and I'm too lazy to type out, right? Yeah, I understand. No, joke, 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 Sepo, right? Okay, so there we go. I, I <laughs> highlighted the text. I right click, okay. say copy. Vincent, I hope you don't mind. I'm helping Sepo here, Vincent, right? Don't get. No, uh, no, it's fine. No, ah, thank it's fine. you. Right. So, okay. Vince, uh, so Sepo, control V. Ah, there we go. There we go. Sepo, aren't I a fast type of Sepo? Sepo! Yes. Oh, man, we lost you. Oh, no, no, there we go. Aren't I a fast type of supposed to say yes? I'm so fast. Yeah, you're not fast. You just pasted. Um, it. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, no, man, I'm fast, man. Hey, I'm fast, man. Yeah, I've got to <laughs> save your time and everything, right? You know, some of you have got to go shopping. Yes, and yes. You've got wives and girlfriends and all of that you're going to look after, right? So there we go, Sepo. Now, when you copy and paste mm -hmm. it into code blocks and you run the program, you'll get to understand what the program does. So let me go and compile yes. this program that I typed it properly. And then it says, Sepo, Sepo. Hey, I'm a, not only a Sepo, am I a fast typist, I'm an accurate uh, typist as well. So I've typed it well and I build and run it. Now it says, it's enter an integer between 10 and 20. Sepo, by the way, where are you calling me from, Sepo? The guy that was attending your lesson from Standardin. 
last week. Oh, skeleton. Right. Now, I'm in Durban. I'm in Durban, Seppo. But listen to this now. Yeah. I am projecting this onto you. I want Seppo to think of a number, an integer between 14 and 16. I hope Seppo thinks of the same number. Seppo. How about it? How about eleven? <laughs> hey, no, man, Seppo, come on, man, let's do it again, Seppo. The connection is not very strong. Give me a number, any number that you can think of, and I'm thinking of the same number between fourteen and sixteen, Seppo. I am projecting this onto him. <laughs> Seppo, you want me to give you fifteen? Oh, 15. Uh, excellent, excellent, excellent. Thank you for thank you, thank you, thank you. Fifteen. Ta da! Thank you. Right. Now, let me run the program mm -hmm. again, Seppo. Let me run the program again, and I'll tell you what they're testing you over here. Seppo, through the powers of the internet, give me a number between 21 and 23, an integer number. If Marianne was here, she'll give me a real number. Seppo, okay, I am 22. Oh, excellent. I was thinking of the same number. Vincent, were you thinking of the same number, Vincent? Vincent? No. How? <laughs> no. What were you thinking of? Sorry? What were you thinking of? Number between 21 and 23. 21 and 23? Yeah. A number between 21 and 23. Yeah, but that's not, that's quite obvious. So it's two. Obvious. What do you mean? Nothing yeah. is obvious over here. Hey, what if it was yeah, a obvious. real number? What if it was a float number? What if it was, <laughs> hey, okay, okay. But, but I asked you for interject. Oh, no. Yeah. Look at that. 22 is not between 10 and 20. You see, I can't read. Okay, yeah. let's do it again. Mm. Let's do it again. Vincent, I want you to think of a number between 25 and 27, an integer. <laughs> 27. <laughs> between 25 and 27. It's 26. Oh, I was thinking of the same thing. Uh, Seppo, were you thinking of the same thing? Oh, yes. Uh, well, obviously, come on, man. Well, obviously, we are we are in standard. Yeah, so I was thinking of the same thing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. But let's see what the computer yeah. gives me. If I press enter, oh no, twenty six is not between ten and twenty. Now, Seppo, look at you. This is you know why it's doing that, Seppo, because of the or operator. You know, you saw those two straight lines. You asked me what is those two straight lines. Yeah, straight lines. It's an or. You said it. It's an me. or. It's an or. Now, this is where mathematics comes into play, Seppo. Right? This is the yes. number line. Think of the number line. That means while n is less than or equal to 10, or yes. n is greater than or equal to 20, that means it must say this is number is not between 10 and 20. That's what validation is all about. I want to ensure that I have numbers that are from 10 to 20. That's what that all operator does. And in order to do that, I know sometimes students say, how do I type this out? It's next to the, on the keyboard, it's next to the enter sign somewhere there, right? If I change this to an and symbol, it'll give me a different, while n is greater than, less than or equal to 10, and n is less than, uh, greater than or equal to 20, it will display a certain number, right? Watch this. Let's build and run this. Enter an integer between 10 and 20. Again, I'm going to put you 15. Watch what happens. Thank you. Ooh, ooh. Is that true? Yes. Right. No, it's not true. N is an integer not uh, between. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Thank you. That's it. That's it. Right. Let's run it again. Let's let's see what let's 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 do another number. Enter number, let's say 25. We said 25. Thank you. Look at the mathematics involved over here. While n is less than or equal to 10 and n is greater than or equal to 20, I need to go and change these symbols around for the and symbol. While n is greater than or equal to 10 and n is less than or equal to 20. So it's going to include the numbers. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's what that and symbol does. But I had to change the mathematical symbols for me to get that. Let's build and run this uh, sepo. 
So enter an integer between 15 and uh, between 10 and 20, 15. 15 is not between 10 and 20. Enter a number, another number, 26, and you'll say thank you. You saw what that did, uh, Seppo? Yeah. It worked yeah. the opposite way. So now you need to play around with this and and the or operation to see the difference between the two. Okay. I think the difference between the two is that they are an opposite of each other. Am I correct? You could say that. You could say that, right? But I still want you to play around with it and to look at lesson number 11 to see when you'll have a while statement and when you'll have the uh, and statement, right? And they're, they're, they're even giving it to you. An alternative condition for the while loop would be not n greater than 10 and less than 20 with a not sign in the front of it. So go, uh, Seppo, copy and paste these things and see what does the uh, greater than and less than equal to all of that plays at all. All right. There's another one. While yeah. x is not equal to y, run the program. Vincent, are you okay with that, Vincent? Yes, yes, I'm okay. Right, good, good. Right, Seppo, is there is there another question that you have for me? Yes, can we do question 35 and 36? All right, I don't answer the questions. I just, I just go through it, right? I'm not... Yeah, yes, I'm not, yes. I'll just help you with it, right? That's just to put it on code block and see. Because I tried it and I got another answer. When I okay. check, uh, my friend AI gave me another answer. Okay, okay, right, right, right. Here we go. Let's go to question number 35. So question number 35, what is the output of the following code fragment if X is 15? So now I use my, I copy that, open up code blocks. Okay, I don't need all of that. And I paste it, control V. It says that int, int x equals 15, right? So uh, yes. I think I should have copied it down. All right, let's, uh, let's go and build this program, build it, build and run. It says large. What answer did you get? Uh, on what did you say? Use AI. Oh, now I see my problem. I didn't give. Uh, okay, AI gave me large. I didn't give my 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 variable a, a definition. Ah. Like my int x. I, I just said int x and didn't give it uh, the 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 equal yeah, sign. Yeah, fifteen. Okay, it okay. should be. There we go. It tells me out here what is the output of the following code if x is fifteen. So they're telling me x is equal to 15, right? So if x is equal yes. to 15, it looks at it like this. Is, is 15 less than 20? Yes. Then it goes and says, is 15 less than 10? No. So it runs the else part. That's what happens over here, right? Yes, yes. All right, so I'm not giving you the answer. Seppo, did I give you the answer? No, I didn't. No, 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 no. You didn't just, not yourself. You had some help from somebody called the compiler <laughs> code blocks. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Now I'm just going to play around with this. I'm going to make this one here three. So X is equal to three. So look at what happens in line number six. Here. Is three less than 20? Yes. Is three less than 10? Yes. Yes. It's run line it will number. say less than 10. Uh, I don't know what it's going to say. I don't know. I don't give the answer. Let's run this program. I already know. Ah, oh, you're so clever now. Let me see. Let me see. Let me. I don't trust you, right? I'm going to do it by myself. I trust now. myself. Okay, let's take a bet on this. If it says less than 10, then I'm the winner. No, how can you be the winner? Where else it's me? I'm the teacher. <laughs> I impose whatever I say. Ah, ha, ha. Let's see. It says... <laughs> Yes, I'm the winner, Vincent. I'm the winner. And right? So what happens? Sorry? Yes, yes, yes. Of course, I'm you can clapping dance. hands for you. And clap hands, right. So in line number five, <laughs> yeah. x is equal to three. It went to line number six. It says three is less than 20. True. It goes to line number seven. Yeah, is three less than 10? 
through, it prints out line number eight. Can you see it also ignores line number nine? It ignores line number 10, right? Yes. Okay, so this is how you learn programming, uh, Seppo and Vincent and everybody else. You must change the values to see what answer you can get. And you must try and get the answer without the compiler. So that means you understand the if else statement, how it runs, okay? All right? Yes, yes. I know what, let's make this a, uh, uh, a poll in 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 uh, WhatsApp. So let's go and because let's go and I, I like to be playing with WhatsApp too, you know. So let's go a uh, poll, and I'm gonna say paste, and the answers are. Less than 10. And the next answer is. Twenty. Haha, -ha. Seppo, Seppo. <laughs> yes, yes, Mr. Kovina. What do you think? What do you think of the last option there? <laughs> oh, Seppo knows the answer. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Thank you, Seppo, for your question. I like it. You like? I like it too. Yes. I like it too. Seppo, you said you had another question for me. Uh, it was it was thirty six. Right. Oh, thirty six already. Not Right, so 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 thirty six is like a number of if else statements, Seppo. This switch is a very important. It's if else. Yeah, you can call it that. Right? And Seppo, I'm going to take a bet with you, Seppo. This must come out in the end of the exam, right? I guarantee you the switch statement. It must come out. I know that for a sure, for a fact, right? It's going to come out. So let's let's again. We have a problem with time now, so I got to just quickly copy and paste it. So copy it. Open up my code blocks. Control V. Ta da! Hey, I should be speed typing over here, man. Right? So if I look at the thing, it says. Right. So, Seppo, it's line number five. It says int i equals five. Then it says switch i. That means. It goes and looks at it. Uh, case zero, break. Case one, I equals 25. Case two, case three, case, oh, default case, uh, I equals zero. Now, and display I. So, Seppo, I can run this program and I can get the answer or I can work it out on myself, right? Now, I'm a bit lazy, time is of the essence and everything. And again, Seppo, I don't give you any answers, not me. So, let's go and build and run this program. Build and run the program. Seppo, did you see anything there, Seppo? The answer. Did anything yet? Seppo, did yes, you see it? Like he, he... Did I give you the answer, Seppo? No, I didn't see any. Can you run it again, Mr. Commander? Okay. <laughs> Seppo, did you see it, Seppo? It disappeared. <laughs> oh, oh, I think my computer is too fast. Let me run it again. Seppo! Okay, okay, I'm too fast. Show. Right? I'm I'm too fast. Now, Seppo, I'm not going to give you the answer, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put down I is equal to zero, Seppo. Let's look, let's read through the program. When you learn programming as well, Seppo, you also need to know how to interpret somebody else's code, right? This is the text that I'm giving you, Archie. I need to answer this. So this is what it says. Now, line number four says, int I is equal to zero. Switch I, I is now zero. Line number seven, case zero. Ooh. Display 15. I don't know. I don't believe you. Let me just run this program again. Run the pro. Hey, hey, Seppo, you're right, Seppo. I should, you should have taken a bet with me, Seppo. You would have won the bet. Yeah, yeah, man. Huh? Right, Seppo? Let me run this program again. Yes, yes. This time, I'm going to make i equal to 1. 
Mike, this time I'm going to take a bet with you, Seppo. I think no, that don't. it's... No, don't. I'm the teacher here. I think the I, the value of I is 25. It's going to say 25. What do you say? You can't copy me now, Seppo. What do you I say? Have to. I agree with no, you. No, 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 no. Mix black and white. I call dibs. You can't say 25. What are you going to say? It's 24 plus 1. <laughs> Oh, that's a very clever Vincent. 26 Park. minus one, yes. Oh, <laughs> let me run the program. Let me run the program. I don't trust you. Let's see. Hey, I won. Yep, yep, yo. Yep, yep, yo. Look at that. Look at that. Ta da. I won. Give me a clap. Give me a clap. Let's do it again. Let's run the program again. This time, I'm going to make the I value to be two. You want to take a bet with me, uh, Seppo? Yeah, if I take it with you, I'm um, choosing what you I say? will be 35. Let's run the program. Well done. Let me do it again. This time I'm going to make I to be uh, 7. Now what do you think the answer is going to be? Must be 0. That was Vincent. Seppo? Yes. The default is right. So let's run this program. The default. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna do something more. I'm gonna do something weird. I'm gonna take out this this break over here. This is what happens in the past year papers. They don't have a break statement, right? Okay, Vincent. Yeah. And then they're gonna put down i is equal to two. Right. You tell me, Vincent. What's gonna be the answer, Seppo? I believe it will still be 35. You say 35. Okay, if Seppo says 35, Vincent. Come on, Vincent. Vincent, you there? Oh, we lost Vincent. Anybody wants to take oh, I'm yes? Here. I'm still. Okay, Vincent. I'm, I'm still here. It must be zero. You say zero. Okay, let's see who's right. Yeah. And I'm going to explain to you what happens here, right? Okay. Ah, check here, check here, check here. Who's right? Uh -oh. Seppo, you check it out, Seppo. Check what happened. I'm seeing it. Right? You saw how important that having a break is. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Let's put yeah, that break I, back I in. See. Let's put the break back in. All right, let's put the break back in. Seppo, take a guess. Yeah, it now it's going to display 35. Uh, Vincent, you think he's right? Um, yes, uh, wait, right. can, I, can I just check? No, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, must be 35. Okay, okay, right. Let's put the list around this program. Yeah. And you are right. It's very important to have a break. Okay, we should be having a break now. It's already 45 minutes into this lecture, but anyway, it's all right. Okay, that's what they will do in a past year exam paper that they did. They removed the break statement and they confused the student. So what happens is it runs the other cases as well when it does not have a break in it. Okay. You get it? Let's mm -hmm. take out the break from here. All right, let's take the break out from there. And let's go and make this zero. See what happens here. It's not going to give me i is equal to 15. Let's build and run it. Look what it gave me. It gave me i is equal to 25. Can you see that, Vincent? Yes, I can see. Seppo, you check what happened, Seppo. Yes, I can see also. Yeah. So it's very important to have a break. Okay. Seppo, Vincent, you're married. Who's married there? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, okay. Oh, you're already on a break. Oh, you're having a break before you get married. Okay. It's good to have a break before you get married. Right, right. So have any break. Oh, Seppo, you're married. You have to have a break after you get married. That's another story. Okay. So I'm going to leave this question alone. I explained to you what the switch does. The switch actually goes and looks for the cases and there, it has to have a break in between, right? For it to stop yes. running. And if it doesn't have any of the choices it chooses, the default case. Thank you, Seppo. Which other question you wanted me to help you with? I'm not giving you the answers. I'm just explaining to you a question and... and... Seppo? 
Yes, that's Mr. Gameda. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Do you have another question? Uh, Sepo, I studied for five years to get my PhD and you're just disregarding my PhD and all of that. Never mind, never mind. It's okay, Sepo. Joke, joke, joke. You must be proud <laughs> I that I'm see. qualified to teach you and everything like that, right? I studied my... Okay, doesn't matter. You didn't get the joke. Later, I'll come to you. Okay. Vincent, do you have a question? Hey, I can see a question uh, in the no. chat. No, no. Uh, Vincent, you're supposed yeah, to tell yeah, me. Wish... There's a question here. Can someone add me to the WhatsApp group? Yeah, Who's... apparently I'm not on that WhatsApp group. Oh, I'm going to copy yeah, that. No, no. Yeah, yeah okay. it's my, my numbers are on the chat. Okay. Right, there we go. I, I posted it in there, so someone will add you. So, hey, so one of my that. questions. Yes, was... yes, go ahead. Was was question fifty, but I see my mistake now. Um, I think I forgot to initialize that uh, account. I didn't see. Let me the... see. Let me see. Go. Let's see question fifty. We still got some time here. Question fifty. Which of the following C plus plus statements do while statements will display five messages on the same line advance the cursor to the next line you use in the declaration count equals one. Okay, so you saw your mistake. What you said, whatever it is. I think I did this yes, last yes. week as well. All right. Vincent, do you have any more questions for me or queries? No. No. Seppo? Seppo? Yes, yes, yes. Go. What, 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 which one? No, I said I don't have any questions. Okay, you don't. Oh, you don't. Okay. Have... Anybody in the chat? Yes. Anybody? Uh, any other participants? Uh, there's a Simon LaRue. Coquetso, Norwazi, come on, Sasa, Wonga, hey, Wonga, how are you, Wonga? Come I'm on. good, sir, how are you? I'm excellent now that you greeted me and you joined me for the uh, Zoom call. How's it going, Wonga? Um, no, I'm, I'm well. And how you were you? able to, I'm fine, I'm fine. Were you able to download code blocks, you run code blocks? Uh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, great, I actually great. used your version. Oh, and wasn't I right about my version 17.12? It works like a dream. Yeah, it does. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See, isn't it a benefit to join me and listen to me and all of that? Uh, Seppo, you can check. Seppo, I've got a recommendation. I've got a referral from Wonga. few questions I've got, sir, if I can yes, ask. Yes, go ahead. Yes, 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 please ask. All right. Uh, sorry to go back, guys. Um, no, no, no. Go ahead. Go I don't ahead. want to attempt. I don't want to attempt the assessment. I still need to understand what, what is going on, right? Okay. So, okay. um, lesson number three, it talks about uh, declaring variables, right? Right. And some of yes. the programs that I run, uh, they they will say they on the build message, um. Um, name not declared or variable not declared, right? And right. then it will show you, it will have a red mark next to it, right? Right. So if if I don't declare a value, for example, there is, um, uh, let me go back to the study guide. Uh, lesson number three. Okay. Uh, Okay, so it says here, yeah, uh, enter two numbers, uh, page Oops. 36. Right, I'm, I'm showing it on screen. Activity 3B, yeah. Right. All right, okay, yeah. So it says, um, change the program of the previous activity to display the following on the screen, right? Uh, enter two numbers, 23 and five, uh, the remainder uh, of 23 divided by five what page three, number is that what five. page number are you reading from uh, on the side again uh, 36 page 36 36 okay, page 36 uh, uh, yeah uh, activity 3b okay uh page 36 let's look at that page 36 36 uh, page 36 of you is showing me something else i got uh Uh, Wonga, just what pay? Uh, am I looking okay. at the rate? 
or go to uh, activity uh, 3B, lesson number oh. three. You are okay. still on lesson four. Okay, let's go to activity 3B. Lesson number three. Yes. All right, all right. What page number is that? Oh, change the program of the previous activity to display the following on the screen, right? Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. So um, the previous uh, program was to calculate and display the quotient of two numbers, right? Yeah. Uh, so let me quickly paste this. Right. So it's so now they want the remainder. Yes. Yes. Right. Let so me... did you did you hear something called modulus? Uh, no, sir. Okay. So you have to learn, now. My suggestion is to read up about think about modulus. Mm -hmm. Right, so just go okay. and look for the modulus. M O D U L. Yes, mod U. No, M O D. Mod. Uh, all right, it's a percentage sign, right? The percentage sign. Oh yes, yes. I've yes. uh, read about that. Yeah. You read about that? Oh, goody, goody. Yes. Right. Yeah, I've read go, about go. that. Go go read up about that. Right. So modulus it gives you a remainder after division. So I'm just going to point you in the right direction. I want you to struggle a little bit more and to work on your own. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. But okay, if that no fails, problem. I want you to go to Google. Google's your best friend. You go to Google and you ask Google. You say Google. Uh, how do I calculate the Remainder REM REM remainder reminder not reminder remainder. How do I calculate the remainder in C plus plus? Right. So there, Google's your best friend, and it says, how do I calculate the remainder? Hey, in C plus plus, the quotient and the remainder of an integer given can be obtained by the percentage sign operators, respectively, the modulus. For example, consider mm. the, then you can even ask Google, you can say, how do I calculate um, the remainder of, now that you know it is, uh, C++ program with remainder. Let's see what it does, right? I don't know, let's. Oh, there's, 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 how do I find the policy formula of the remainder? There's, there's it all there. I want an example of a program. Let's, let's put this example. Example of a C++ program with the remainder. Mm -hmm. What is the remainder operation? Is there a program? There we go. There's a program out here. To find C plus the modulus operator computes a remainder. There we go. Check it out. Wonga? Yes, so I'm still here. There you go. There's a program here. Yeah? Mm. Right? Google your best friend. Okay. Right? Now, what I can do is I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to copy this program to explain to Wonga how it does it, right? I'm going to copy that, open up my code blocks, and you can, and the rest of you can try that as well. Control V, Wonga, Wonga. Am I a I'm fast typist, Wonga? Yes, you are. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Seppo, am I a fast typist, Seppo? Seppo. Copied, but yes, you are. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a very fast typist, right? Now, this program gives you some nice programming concepts. Here's my input part. Right? If any of you watched my videos on the pyramids, there's my input. There's my input. There's my processing. Mm -hmm. I always try to give you a little bit more on a Saturday, and there's my output. Right? Input processing and output. This is what programming is all about. I've been teaching programming from 19, oh, in 90, somewhere in 91, 92. I've been learning programming from 1986. Input processing, output is all that we do in programming. Right? And you can run this program, right? Build and run the program. 
Oops. What's the error message here? Wonga. I can type fast, but I made a mistake. Ooh, I was I'm not declared. I. Yeah, I forgot to yeah. declare I. Ah, That's okay. exactly my question that I was asking. What are you going to do now? Yeah, I'll just declare it. If I need I, I'll declare it. How, how, how? What's wrong with that? Oh, okay. Yeah, but, but where, are, where am I using I? Where am I using I? Yeah, you're not using I anyway. And what are, why do I need to declare it, man? I wasn't playing yesterday. Yeah, if I don't need it, don't use it. Don't declare it. Okay. Right. So let's go and compile it. Yeah, boy, it's working. Enter yeah, the no dividend error. and the divisor. Dividend 16 and the divisor is 7. Mm. Ooh, 16 divided by 7 is 40. The remainder 2. Not a very good answer. Not a very good way to work it to show the students that. Let's run it again. 17 and 2. Uh, 17 and 2. So 7 divided by 2 is 3. Remainder 1. Right. There we go. 7 divided by 2 is 3. Remainder 1. Ta-da! Uh -huh. This explains to you what that modulus does. Right? All right. Right, Wonga? Right? Thank you, sir. You're welcome. But there's a program. I can teach you. I'll take it from the net. Right? Control A, Control C. Let's go and share this for everybody on the WhatsApp group. At least I put, put, put something there. For Wonga. Ta-da! There we go, Wonga. Yeah, got it. Let me, let me, you got it on the WhatsApp? Yes, yes. Yeah, let me put a picture to you of that now, Wonga. For Wonga and... All right. I, I don't think you'll get any other teacher that will teach with uh, with WhatsApp. He allow you to keep your WhatsApp open, your cell phone open. Wonga, any of your teachers allow you to keep your cell phone open? And your WhatsApp? Uh, no. no ah, no. see, 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 I'm the only one. Right. Okay, Wonga, make sure you go and put a heart next to that in the WhatsApp, uh, Wonga. Uh, let me do that. Okay, thank let you. Let me see if there's a heart there. There's no heart there. Wonga! I'm looking at my WhatsApp. Okay, okay, joke, don't worry. Oh, I got a heart. I wonder who said put the heart for me. I wonder who. Seppo, I wonder who. It's me. <laughs> yeah. All right, Seppo, you better put another heart there, Seppo. Vincent. Okay. Yes. Huh? Any other questions for me? It's uh, one o'clock. I hope I, I gave you some explanation and some strategies to tackle assessment one. All right? Assessment one is due. Uh, on the, let me look at the question again. It's due on, on the 29th of May, right? And ma'am says it's, she's allowing you to take the highest grade. So I think you can do it more than once, right? All right. Yes, you can. Oh, great. Who was that? Uh, it was me. Vincent, Vincent. So today is the 20th yes. of April. You got 20th of May and you've got like said, four, six weeks more. So next week I'll, I'll, I'll help you with some other questions and I'll give you some strategies of tackling programming. All right. Can we call um, it today? Tommy. Yes. Why is assessment number two so early? It's too very early. When is assessment two due? 13th of May. Oh, do we see that? Mm -hmm. my, my network seems to be a bit slow. Oh, you're right. Assessment uh, 13th of May. Listen, your car, your car, you can't leave it. Okay. Uh, uh, Seppo and uh, Vincent and Wonga. Maybe I can email the lecturer, Ms. Velasi, and tell her that you'll want an extension for the assessment too. Okay? Okay. Now we really have to speak to her. That's way too early. Yeah. We're still discussing assessment number one. Is already number two is due very soon. 
Yeah, and let's see assess. Let me tell you what had happened was assessment one was due in April. And then some students didn't complete and late registration and all that went with it. So I think she didn't realize she has to move assessment. And then assessment three is 21st of June, and then you are finished. Mm. Okay, after June, uh, July. Rushing the there. Yeah, we're rushing. I think, uh, Sefo, if you don't mind, you can email ma'am and ask her to please extend it, right? She's very kind, I can tell you that. She will extend it, right? Like she has extended it. She understand. Yeah. She was a student okay. too, like you, right? Oh, I shouldn't be saying that on the recording. Yeah. Okay, right. Okay, so next week we'll ask more questions. Right, anybody put the, everyone wants to put the camera on. We'll take our class photograph. Hey, is that Sefo? Sefo in the house. Sefo. Lovely. <laughs> Vincent, put your camera on, Vincent. Come on, Vincent, don't be like that. I can't. <laughs> Something's wrong with my camera. Don't lie. Don't lie. You just you are in bed. You are. Uh, you didn't uh, wash your face and all. That's why. Hey. No, no, no. no. I'm on my I'm on my workstation. So, but something wrong with my camera. I feel some. No, coffee. don't make excuses, Vincent. Don't make excuses. Oh, right. oh, you want to see it? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see, Vincent. Where's Vincent? See how bad it is. It's, it's, it's not bad. bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. You just blurry. Oh, you can't see me. No, yes, no, my eyes. I don't have glasses. All right. <laughs> Come on, now let's put our camera on. Let's take a photograph. We're going to take our photograph, our class photo. Get ready for the new photo. Where's my photograph now? Uh, all right, get ready for the class photo. Oh, I wasn't smiling there. Let me do it again. Smile. Ah, oh, no, man, my tongue is out there. Let me do it again. Uh, let's, let's, let's. So, I'll... Yay! I took a photo. Thank you. The photo will be pasted in our WhatsApp group. Right. Make sure I put a heart over there. Yeah. Our Saturday class photo. Ta da How's that? Hey, check the hat out and all, man. Hey. Right. Oh, I can't see your class. Right. Thank you very much, students. If you don't have any more questions, queries for me, can we call it a day? Can we call it a day? Oh, let me stop the recording. Let's pause the recording.